Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV, Manchester United 0, Liverpool 3. Uh, I just want to ask you guys, guys, before we just start, guys, yes, click the like on the video, subscribe to the channel, but look, there is this very important question I want to ask you. What were you disappointed in that game? Is it the results? Is it the way we played? Is it um, uh, the tactics? Uh, I mean, just tell me what you what you were disappointed in that game because no matter how disappointed you were in the single game, I think the tour in general wasn't that bad. And I'm going to tell you guys in this video today why. Uh, so guys, please give me just 10 minutes of your time. Let me just react to this video. I think um, Liverpool, the biggest difference between Manchester United and all the teams, all the top clubs in the UK is that style of play. I think that will be the biggest challenge for, for Eric Tenner. We are going to win games. I mean, even if we play poorly. The thing is, when I see Liverpool doing drills, right? M moving the ball very quickly and making, um, kind of, you know, creating uh, creating opportunities and scoring some of them, uh, it's uh, it's always uh, beautiful to watch. I mean, it's always it, it gives you a sense that the, the players know what they are doing. We cannot only say because of injuries, because what is more important for Manchester United this season, if you're some of you watch our, our streams here, um, is uh, the United fans, and uh, most of all the owners, the new investors, they want Manchester United to be playing good football. What will be, uh, uh, and they have moved to great length to say that, uh, even if we don't qualify for the Champions League next season, what they want to see Manchester United today, it's the the, the style of play. How do we move? I, I mean, that is. I think that is why they are going to Great Land to buy, try to buy players Ten Hag wants, because uh, that would be his biggest challenge, to be honest. But yeah, saying that, I, I just think uh, uh, United. We in this tournament in general, we have uh, kind of slightly improved in that sense in, in terms of. Uh, um, the way we move the ball, you know, the, the way we, we execute our, our, our opportunities. As I said, uh, guys, um, in the earlier, I just watched uh, and listened on uh, Eric Ten Hag's uh, post-match interview against Liverpool where he, he, he said something that was very smart. And he said, you know, yes, the difference between the both sides is that one made good uh, use of their actions and the other was very ruthless. I think Liverpool was ruthless every day. Every, almost every time they had an action, it, uh, you you could see that it's a goal. But Manchester United did not take advantage. That game, I think a fair result would have been a 3-1, 3-2, 4-2. It, it, it didn't have to be a zero. There were actions there that you can see that every Manchester United had to put it behind the net. But yeah, also let us on, uh, uh, talk as if we don't know what's going on with our club. We Not all our players are, are, fi are fit to play uh, 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 the, the, the tournament in general. Well, and... Um, so a friend of mine told me about that. Why did Rasmus Ras Ras Holland come so early when he played the Euros? I think Rasmus Holland, he is he has a personal target. That's what he wants to be very. He wants to be impactive in this uh, in this season. So he wants to get. He just wants to kick f very fast and you know kick. He he wants to, he wants to be the main person in the, in this in in, uh, in this season. So that's why he started. And unfortunately, he has picked up an injury, and um. We know of Lenny Euro, which we can talk about. But look, yes, we know that we have these injuries, but I think Manchester United has to start. I mean, the Ineos group has to start by start, you know, Ineos group has to start, really start buying players. We need to bring uh, people like uh, David In, Mazari. If you were here last night, uh, if you were in the stream yesterday, Mazari will be a United player. The agreement has already been done. Uh, um, then it we just have to close our eyes and go to that get that deal done it's very important but um, um, most importantly the most important part of manchester united football the team the club if you're talking about players tell me if i'm wrong is the midfield i am super super can i say super again worried about casemiro at this point of time casemiro if anyone comes for casemiro for 25 million pound i beg i, I just said i beg that's please <laughs> please he should be sold Casimiro is not a Premier League player we're not talking about his experience on his distribution we're talking about his pace Casimiro will be a liability for Manchester United Casimiro will not cope with League One players 
His physicality is in there. I mean, it's always good to call a spade a spade. He will have some good games. But honestly, Casemiro, he, he is a player that... Um, I won't say it's one of the disappointment disappointments in the pre, in, in the preseason, but I would say it's a player that going into the preseason we knew what we had, and uh, it would have been a surprise for him to bounce back. And this is not an issue of uh, tiredness in regards to Casemiro. He didn't play the Copa America. He had all the time to you know to reload, to reboot as a football player physically, but he is not good enough for the Premier League. I'll go that far. Not even Manchester United, because um. And it is really, it is, it is it, I mean, it is seen, it is just very evident that Casemiro is an issue for United for going forward. What we have to develop as a team, we have to develop that style, of, that style of quick execution. So, whenever we have the ball, our combination going forward has to be quick. If we cannot do that, then sorry, I think we will have a very tough, tough, tough season. And that might lead to the roster of the uh, manager, to be honest, because, um. What I saw in the game here, yeah, we have some uh, uh, some players, young players who are really good um, in regards to uh, talent, right? Uh, the game today against uh, Liverpool, I can tell you that, you know, someone like uh, Kobe Tolio, the courage of him, I mean, he's not a very young player, 20 years, but he's a new player in the club. We, I think he had a more or less okay game. Okay game. Nobody had a super game in my view. And uh, you have, uh, I, I really liked Amas. Uh, Amas, I think, I think Amas. If Amas gets as many games as possible, he might uh, get that confidence that is needed to play in the team with Pro. But another massive difference and a massive uh, negative to Manchester United is our defense. I say it again: is our defense. I think uh, we have a lot of players who didn't have to be in Manchester United. Talking about these players, Harry Maguire will not help us. Will not improve us this season. Um, Lindelof very slow I think Turkey ha he has to go to Turkey I'll go to an extent to say of Aaron Wan Bissaka that for those of you who um, I think most of you yeah because we have done a lot of posts in the past most of you believe Aaron Wan Bissaka uh, it will be a smart thing to move him on if we want to play offensive because Aaron Wan Bissaka is good in all the tackling he is very disciplined he he's not a problem maker he's a good person to be a bench player for any club but if you bring Aaron Basaka in Liverpool, he will Liverpool will have to be a little bit slow in the way they, they, they go on the on the offensive. What I'm trying to say is that Aaron Basaka uh, Manchester United need another right back. Aaron Basaka will go. He they have to go. He has to go. Hopefully he's injured he's not that serious. But um Again, I mean, as I said, uh, Manchester United. This is a we are. We, if you are worried about Manchester United, then you have to. Then I can understand you as a fan. Honestly, it's. Um, I mean, there is this old cliche that goes that um, if everything ends well, then it was well. Which means, if you want to go back on that cliche, it means that the tournament which we were in the preseason, what well, didn't end well. Obviously, we were trash. Three goes to zero. For Americans who don't really understand what football is, it will be in their heads that we were trash, we were, we were trash, and we are nothing. We are not a better side than Liverpool, which some of you might agree. But um, uh, yeah, I I think you would say the the season was uh, the 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 pre the preseason wasn't good. But let's don't forget. Let's don't uh let's don't forget the game against Real uh, Real Betis, which is a Sevillian team. We we were we were good on the ball. We could control games. We could play better. They also that was one of their first games. They were just coming back from their fitness. I think in another scenario, it would be a tougher game for us. United. I think a game against a game against Arsenal also we were good. But I will end this video by saying this: Manchester United. We are not at the same level of Arsenal, Liverpool. Some will even say um, uh, Tottenham Hotspur in terms of the footballing. But let's hope, guys, guys, we have a week to get all our players back. For those of you who think the charity shield will be trashed till it goes to nil by, by um, City, then you, you don't know what football is about. Because uh, I'll tell you that uh, the young play, the, the players who haven't come to this preseason, who are training already back at home in Carrington, you talk of Bruno Fernandes, you talk of also Ganacho, you talk of Licha. It will be a different um, charity uh, she will find us. What I want to say here is that I just 
pray that we don't have another massive injury in our team that will mess up our season anyway guys short um short short reaction here guys uh, united has been beaten uh, by liverpool three goes to nil not the end of the world but there are certain lessons that we have learned hopefully um we would love to hear your opinion so please guys make sure you drop your opinion below we want to know what your thoughts are about that game so uh yeah with that all said guys talk to you soon bye bye